hi guys how are you lord give me the strength today <laughs> i have some words for you guys um yeah i have i have i have some good word but i have this word is a very important word i actually got this word this morning the other words that i got i got them yesterday but i didn't post them yesterday because i was you know spending time with god um but i'm gonna say this early this morning i saw this and it really worried me because i know that it is because of warfare and god told me it's because of warfare but I'm going to explain something to you guys as well. So before I explain it, I just want to say I did see someone's kingdom husband in the spirit. This is not a dream. This is a vision. And this is like early, early this morning. I'm talking about like four in the morning and shall still like, you know, not sleeping, but like kind of like, was it for God? Before four, it was like two o'clock ish. Um, I wasn't sleeping, but I was kind of laying down. I saw it in the spirit and I saw it very clearly. But this this kingdom husband, it's like he's not an alcoholic, right? He may be a social drinker here. And social drinker is like when you're someone that has a glass of wine here and there. Like not every week, but like maybe like twice twice a month or something. Socially, like if you go to dinner or something. So I do that. Like when I go to dinner, I have like a glass of wine with my dinner. You know what I mean? If I go out to socially, right? Or on vacation or something. But this kingdom husband was under so much warfare to the point where he literally grabbed a bottle and i saw him with the alcohol bottle it looked like though i can't even remember the brand but it looked like with that tall brown bottle brand of like alcohol and it's like he was chugging it okay he was chugging that bottle and i'm like god is i'm like is he drinking and god said no he's thinking about it thinking about it and then the Lord let me know that if he does decide to do it, it would lead him to do things that he would regret. As in um, fornication, you know, adultery, or whatever. It would lead him to do something that he would regret. Um, and it had to do with like calling up people from his past, meeting up with them, doing things that he would regret. So... The fact that God said he's thinking about it, it kind of put a bit of ease in my spirit because I'm like, okay, good. I don't have to put out a message telling someone their husband, their kingdom husband did it. I can actually tell them that it's a thought, which means we can actually rebuke it. We can rebuke it. We can pray it out. You get what I'm saying? So I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Um, thank you, Lord. Um, but I just want to tell you that this is why it's so important to keep your partner in prayer every single night because you know you never know what they're going through and let me tell you something when you have a kingdom husband you guys usually go through things just alike like if you're being attacked your kingdom husband might be going through an attack at the same time or it's a situation where he may not be attacked or she may not be attacked the wife but if you're attacked they can feel it because they're sensitive in spirit you remember a cord of three strands is not easily broken that's you the Lord and your person connected, right? And if that cord is connected, you will feel everything your partner is feeling. Your partner will feel everything that you are feeling. Hence why oftentimes when you're like, God, I can feel everything my kingdom husband's going through. I know he's sad right now. Or I know he's happy right now. Vice versa. God, I can feel everything my wife is going through. I know she's sad right now. Or I know she's happy right now. Or You know what I'm saying? Sometimes sometimes my kingdom husband will tell me I'm under attack before I even know I'm under attack. And literally a couple of days later, boom. He'll be praying and rebuking it, but he'll let me know ahead of time when an attack's coming in. And there's certain things that he will see in spirit that I don't see. And then I'll see certain things in spirit that he doesn't see. And we kind of help each other out, right? That's that's how you the connection is in spirit. But I'm giving you that as an example to let you know that I don't know if the a husband's doing it because they're attacked or because they're feeling your attack. But it is because they're, they're going through some sort of warfare. And I just want to let everybody know that just because someone is participating or partaking in having a bunch to drink one time it's not that they're alcoholic when you when you when you when you're an alcoholic that's a spirit that you that you have within you that you gotta fight that's a spirit that you have within you that you gotta fight but when you're someone that's not an alcoholic or not a not doesn't do drugs you're not even like a drinker like that you may drink here and there 
then it's like when you have those moments where you're indul overindulging, that means that something is going on. A spirit may have been sent to you, but something is going on and you're looking for a way to numb it out. So that happens a lot. Listen, warfare ain't, warfare ain't easy. And even the most faithful servants of God slip up here and there. We're not perfect. David had a whole affair while he was walking with God. Noah still drank while he was walking with God. And I'm not even going to go into the other ones. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, what I'm here to say is that, you know, no one's perfect, right? These things happen. There's people out there. there listen, God has um, children of God out there who are celebrities. I'm not talking for everybody. I'm speaking for some people. Not every celebrity is bad. There's people, there's celebrities who are undercover prophets. Their purpose wasn't ministry, though. They had a different purpose. God has different plans for them. But they still have a relationship with God, and they're still in the limelight. And because they're in the limelight and they don't advertise their relationship with God, they're looked at as a demon. They're demonized by a lot of people, including Christians. And what people don't understand is some of them also do get attacked. And I'm saying some of them. I'm not saying all of them. Some of them get attacked just like we get attacked. You have to remember something. Imagine being in the public eye... How many people have you on their altars because they want your life, because they hate you? If we get attacked and people want to put us on altars and we're not even out there like that, you can only imagine the, the children that God has who are, you know, secret prophets or they're walking with God, but they don't make it be known that they're walking with God. You can only imagine the, the kingdom of darkness, how much, they, how much of these celebrities they have on their altars. That's why you always see some celebrities indulging in alcohol, indulging drugs. They may not be alcoholics and they may not be druggies, but you may catch them a once in a while. They may have like a bad news report about them saying that they got overly drunk that one night. Or you get what I'm saying? Because some they get it, some of them get attacked, just like we get attacked. And the point of me saying this is warfare is not easy. Sometimes warfare is so heavy, you're gonna run and grab that bottle. Even though you should have discipline and spiritual discipline and even though you should know right from wrong and even though you should know that you doing that is not going to make the situation better. We understand that. But it, hap it happens to the best of us. You see what I'm saying? And what I saw in this case is this kingdom husband, he was going to run to the bottle and overindulge. But what he didn't understand was that was going to open another door, which is another door of fornication, another door of doing something outside of his marriage, kingdom marriage, which is going to lead to problems later on. And that's what the devil wants, right? So he never did it, but he was thinking about it. Do you see what I'm saying? God said he was thinking about it. So this person is going through some heavy attacks. So I just want to say, ladies, men, if you have a kingdom wife or a kingdom husband, pray for them every single day, every single night. When you wake up in the morning, you thank God for giving you an, a chance to live another day, for you to walk according to his will throughout the day. And you pray for, if you have children and you pray for your children, include your husband in the prayer. Husband, same concept. At nighttime, when you're praying for your, when you're praying for yourself, when you go to bed, you're asking God for what it is you need, what you want in your life, and if it's according to His will, and you're asking Him to cover you, shield you, pray for your husband, even if you or wife, even if you haven't even met the person yet, just do it because you never know. Listen, what your person may be going through may be what's delaying you from meeting them. Do you see what I'm saying? And they may not even have anyone praying for them. You get it? Not everyone. People can say, "Oh, I'm gonna pray for you," and they don't pray. They just say they're going to pray and they don't pray. Not everybody has someone out there that is on their knees really praying to God for them. So let let that be a responsibility that you have that's that you're consistent with as a wife or as a husband. Praying for your partner, even if you haven't met your partner. Let Start putting that in your routine ahead of time. You get what I'm saying? And start rebuking things. If you rebuke things from your own life, rebuke things from your husband or your wife's life. Okay. Therefore, it can only be a thought that can be rebuked and he can fight that or she can fight that. And it doesn't manifest in the physical because the enemy is sneaky. You know, the enemy is sneaky. The enemy knows how to destroy marriages. He's he's here to kill and destroy. So, you know, and I can't speak for everybody to each its own, but the enemy knows. The enemy is like literally plotting. 
So in in the, in the, someone's mind, it may be okay. I may I don't drink a lot, so I'm gonna overindulge tonight. But what they don't understand is that even though it may numb, it may feel like it's numbing the warfare in the moment, and you're not feeling nothing. You're just happy because you're drunk. And you're listening to music and having a good old time and you feel like it's blocking it out. What you don't understand now is you have literally opened a door for all these thoughts and all these other spirits to come in. The Jezebel to come in, you know, all these fornicated spirits to come in, all these other spirits to come in. So now you're picking up your phone and you're calling up all these past women that you dealt with or all these past men that you dealt with and all of a sudden now you're, you're you're like oh my god i haven't done it in a while like you know it's just one time and because you're drunk you may think it's okay you see what i'm saying and because you overindulge you're not in your right mind now you go and meet up with that person and then you sleep with that person and if you if you're if you have a wife who can hear from god and you have a husband that can hear from god and god can say yep they thought about doing it and they did it and your, and your wife is the type of person like, God, I already told you that if something like this was to happen and he would have stepped out on me, I would be done. And the, wife, the husband would have said the same thing. That can cause you to lose your person. You see what I'm saying? That can cause you to lose your person. And the devil is sneaky. He knew that that was going to be the plan originally, but all he wanted you to do was to get that bottle and to drink that whole bottle or, or half that bottle to get you to that point. That was his way to get you to that point. So now you ruined your future because of that. Do you get what I'm saying? So, you know, and I know some people are like, oh, it's an accident. I, I know I don't play with that. You know, my, my tolerance level is very low. It's very low at this point when it comes to certain things because of my walk with God and because of, you know, what I've endured in the past. So if, if someone else has that same mindset, it would really cause problems and the devil knows this, right? So this is why it's so important that no matter what you're going through, to really be disciplined enough to not allow yourself to get to that point. Do you see what I'm saying? Because you have to remember, especially if you know that there's warfare going on, especially if you know that there's spirits trying to creep in, especially if you know what the devil is plotting, you have to be disciplined enough and remember that you're responsible to maintain your walk in a positive light and to, and to keep certain doors closed, you know, in order to not you know, invite these, these temptations in, right? So pray for your person because they're going through a hard time, okay? Pray for them, okay? And pray for anyone going through this, okay? And I love you guys. I have two other messages. Another message is, like, both of them are positive, but I'm not sure if the other one has something to do with this. But anyways, I'll you guys will hear from, about it later. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.